Oh, wheeling with the view, I like this. Sometimes you gotta warm up the IROCs a little bit. Take the cheater lines with the stickies. Ah, that thing makes brap sounds really good. Oh, we're getting into the snow now. Turbo. You want to give him a car nudge there, Ed? Well, apparently our uh, traps are not so good in the deep snow. Yes. Oh. I don't know what you did numbers in this hat here. Let's do a little drosky and find out which uh, number comment is gonna get himself a swag pack. Well, I'll get to an intro in a minute, but we just pulled up a light and had smoke pouring out from under the hood of Adam's uh, Cummins here. <laughs> so we're trying to see why we're smoking. It's oh, well, apparently we just cooked the AC compressor, but very, very late December. So what do we need AC for? Oh, it smells terrible, Adam. Yeah, it does. Oh, well. Anyways, what's happening, boys? Riding with Adam today. We're uh, northbound and down. I'm like an hour and a half away from my house, which like never ever happens. It's uh, New Year's Eve today actually, even though you guys are gonna see this in January. My boys are uh, not wheeling today because they're gonna pick up one tons for the Green Bastard. So the one ton swap has begun on the Green Bastard. Anyways, you guys don't want to hear me driving around in the car. Oh, it smells so bad in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna meet up with the boys and do the thing. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a that's a consequences ditch on that side though. If you blow it right, don't go right. <laughs> oh, a little bit muddy. I haven't been worn any kind of coat in like five years. I'm not gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an island spec kind of guy right there. Coats are overrated. So are gloves. You don't need to worry about a coat. It's only December, Canada. Well, here we are. We've been on about 20k on the logger road. You can do some rock crawling with a view. And in typical me fashion, I'm not even gonna tell you guys where we are. If you know what this view is, then you know where we are. Otherwise, well, come on wheeling with me and I'll tell you where we are. It's the first rule of Fight Club, so you don't talk about Fight Club. So we got a cruiser on tons. We got a Jeep car. It's got some 40 inch traps on there. Toyota. We got Ed's sweet rig. He just got himself his brand new, literally, the knobbies were still on those 42 inch IROX this morning. I'm riding with Adam in the Turbo 4Runner. We got Liam in the other 4Runner. We got Luke in the other Toyota car. It's gonna be an epic day. Rock crawling. We're going up the hill. I've never been here. Looking forward to this. So Adam toasted a front diff last time he was at my place. So hopefully we don't do that same thing again. Sorry, he toasted a pinion. Oh, nice. Oh, wheeling with the view, I like this. Ocean view. Vancouver is over there somewhere. Nice. Oh yeah. Gotta warm up those uh, eye rocks a little bit. No more nubblies on those things by now. You got stinky tires on your car, don't you, though? That's cheating. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot scarier to stand on low side with non-sticky pro comps. Oh, maybe they're sticky pro comps. Well, done. Just having uh, some sniper problems down there. Apparently he just put the EFI on this thing. I have no idea what's under the hood. Another rig with IROX. It's a clean looking cruiser though. We're standing in the danger zone for this line. Liam was telling me this is called uh, this trail. It's called Ring and Pinion Rock. Because apparently, this next climb is really good for uh, eating ring and pinions, or so I'm told. Liam's got the 37 inch straps, so sickies. 
So you didn't have to work that hard. We got seven rigs on the trail today and uh, it's hard to catch it all. But I don't want to film facing downwards because I always say it never does it justice. It's never uh, looks that steep if I point downwards. Greased up the rocks real nice for Ed. That's okay, Ed's a whole different kind of car. Fancier car. Big tires, big suspension, horsepower. Ed's got it all. Nicely done, Adam. Double bead locks, 42 inch IROX, you wanna be five. I like seven in the front, five in the rear. It's my party combo. Dragon straps. I like the dual coolers. These guys have their priorities on point. Yeah. How many drinks you need? All of them. There you go. Take the cheater lines with the stickies. <laughs> That's a smile of a man who knows he's cheating. I'm just jealous, let's be honest. It's got flames in the subterrain though. That's, that means it's gotta be good. That's that's because it was built 30 years ago. It's for speed. <laughs> that was cool. Nice. Are those stinky pro comps? Yeah. Don't break it. Don't break it. about sticky pro comps is they're like halfway between regular tires and regular sticky tires. They're vintage stickies. Who put that tree there? Where's your sticky tires now? You gotta get greedier. Yes, now turn back to me. That a boy. That is the way. You got her. Nice. You'll get her now. Well played. Sometimes you gotta warm up the IROX a little bit. That's the sound of my people right there. Give it a bump. Oh, that'll curdle your milk. All right, Liam's gonna do a bit of log uh, yard work here because we're not getting anywhere fast. Some good looking timbers, some firewood. Now you don't have any more excuses. Nice. Don't listen to him. Go fast, take chances. <laughs> get frustrated really easily. It's not gonna crawl it. Oh. Nice. It smells like he's running a little ridge. Sticky traps, no problem. Clatter release rings, my man. There's an epic bouncing out there. Definitely not going that far. Seems a little chilly. Ed might have to put on a shirt. So much traction on this trail. These rocks are super grippy. Man. 
Uh, it's not as hard as I thought when I got out. I regret getting out now. Ah, <laughs> uh, that thing makes brap sounds really good. I wish it sounded good though, it's just noisy. <laughs> I regret getting out. Oh, whoever ran this trail first must have just hated life. So many sticks. So many sticks. Stick country. Not really hard rocks in these woods, but they're cool rocks. Especially when you got sticky tires like Liam. A really easy rock. Once again, I might have regretted getting out. Oh, can we call it snow wheeling if we have snow on the ground like that? problem when we were with seven rigs is I end up only filming the two or three that are right close to my ride. Miss out on the guys at the back of the pack. Oh yeah, it's got the line. The greedy line. Oh, that's a way better line than Adam took. <laughs> Nice moves. Nice. My trail soda is driving away. You gotta keep up. Huh? You know what time of day it is? Time for trail soda. Gets way more sassy after a few of those. I got all. Hopped up on the sugars. You're fine. Oh, just pivot off the trees. I've said it many times. That's why we build exo cages. Because you got to slide on the trees. Today, rocking the mountain poo. Mountain pew. That's probably tippy in there. It's a casual Saturday drive. New Year's Eve wheeling. What am I gonna be doing at midnight? Sleeping, because I'm wheeling all day. Or even standing around having trail sodas and chips. And apparently everybody in the back of the pack had problems. So this is apparently a brand spanking new 22 e and I'll just let it let it play itself out here. They're not supposed to sound like that. That sounds great. I don't hear nothing. What did you do? Did you forget to put oil in it? Did you use Lucky Beer as oil? It makes oil. It, it makes oil. That's not the way things work at all. TDI up there? Yeah. Exactly. Sounds like a Volkswagen. Brand new engine. Brand new to you or like brand new to brand new? Brand new. Uh, six liter would solve that problem. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a 5.3. Let's not be irresponsible about it. And what happened to the cruiser? He's having issues? Yeah, his fan packed it in. Doesn't smell that warm. Well, My rig smells worse than that, and I think it's mint. <laughs> oh, that sucks. It could be worse. It could sound like this guy's Toyota. Luke's Toyota sounds way worse. So, this motor's pooch. No fan on that thing. And then the other two guys are going to bring these guys home. So, it might be a three man show. All right, well, we lost four guys in the crowd, but the three of us in the front that you guys have been watching all day, we're doing great. So we're gonna keep going on this trail. In fact, we found a bit of snow. Liam knows where we're going now. You just follow the big scratches on all the trees. <laughs> trail markers. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that's what? Exactly. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. It's probably already getting dark, but we're just gonna keep going. Nice. Maybe we even could call this snow wheeling. Snow wheeling. <laughs> this is island spec snow wheeling. Stupid. This is a 
adjusting himself, which I, I said on the channel before, our snow wheeling is just rock crawling with snow on the ground. Whereas most people's snow wheeling is like them driving down logging roads with three feet of snow. Yeah. But we don't get that much snow. My shoulder and my back are telling me it's time for nerve pills. <laughs> Oh, this is way more fat girl friendly though. Yeah. But you guys should say, I'm not allowed to tag hashtag fat girl in my Instagram posts anymore because I get strikes for being hurtful <laughs> with my with my hashtags. I've been calling my rig the fat girl since 2001. Which like, I bet the person who made the rule that I couldn't do hashtag fat girl is probably not even 21 years old. I've been calling my rig that for more than 21 years. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, it's hurtful for me to call my rig a fat girl. I might hurt its feelings. This has all the hallmarks of a Suzuki trail where it's just like annoyingly windy, windy. through the woods yeah. and then you don't really like, go over any rocks. Oh, I don't even know if there's a point in me getting out. It looks like I'm just walking in the woods with my trail soda now. So only three of us left. We got the two forerunners and Ed and the Jeep. But we're uh, we're making it happen. We're gonna keep going up this hill. Oh man, I really regret getting out. This is a big hill. Oh, where's your sticky tires now? Oh damn it, they are sticky. Sticky tires don't work as well on wet roots as they do on dry rock. This is a big hill that I got out on. Oh, this is a leg burner already. Oh, man. Well, while I'm walking up this hill, I should give a shout out to all you guys. I guess I hit my 10,000 subscriber milestone. Super stoked on that. I was hoping to get there for the end of the year. And uh, well, I did it. Thanks to all you guys who are following along on the channel. And a big shout out to all the patrons, as always. I have a... Uh, few new patrons. I know I have uh, Jacob O signed up yesterday. I think I'm missing a couple other guys. I'm super sorry about that. I forgot to write all the names down before I headed out this morning. I gotta uh, get some deck nails inside of my rig for you guys. We're working on that. Oh, turbo. It's a lot of work. Hoofing her up this hill. That was not worth the effort at all. <laughs> well, we're getting into the snow now. Good thing that Liam knows where we're going because you can't really tell where the trail is when there's eight inches of snow on it. Well, we're just gonna slide sideways. pounds of boost why don't you pop your uh, 22 re head that's what you do <laughs> you, just, you better up into 20. now that i got back in this looks way more fun but it's too much effort to be walking up this hill in the snow i'm still out of breath from that last hill oh a little mid climb gear shifty oh hello whoa there's a tree there it kind of a gross sound, but I don't know, that was just... Well, we're heading upwards, up the hill. <laughs> oh, right in the eyeball. Oh. Apparently I don't need my right eye anymore. Ow! Oh, in the face. I even have safety gogs with me, I put them on. What did we learn? That I'm an idiot? I guess we already knew that. That's not new information. This is a cool little top of the hill. Glade. Actually, I don't dare open this mountain poo in my lap right now, or I'm gonna not right now. wear it. Whoa! <laughs> We're going that way. These rocks have a stupid amount of traction. There's like nothing. Oh, we even 
found a little bit of water on this trail. Well, not much water. Well, there we go. Oh, it's a good looking red cedar right there. Let me just lean up again. <laughs> it's okay, cedars are robust. Not yellow cedars as much. Back up if you can. We're stuck now. I got no backup. Car nudge. Ah, uh, yeah. You want to give him a car nudge, Aaron? <laughs> My man. Don't even worry about that tail light. Adam doesn't need it. There you go. Give him a little push. Yes. Yes. Oh, now you're on. Both axles. Okay, well, he'll keep pushing you. Uh, you know, we're at that point in the afternoon. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, and took out the rest of his taillight. <laughs> That's fine. Do you have insurance? <laughs> exactly. We need your insurance papers, sir. Oh, did we lose some air? Oh, well apparently I'm gonna open my other trail soda. Oh yeah, also let's look at Adam's leg. Look at this. That's mint. I really like that. There's somebody who no longer has onboard air. I'm jealous of your onboard air. What, your stupid sticky tire lost? I must have popped it off on the, on the stump right there. Like the inner bead popped it off. Well, you probably run a lot of pressure on those things. 20, 15? Oh, that's weird. Normally the sticky tire guys run a lot more pressure than, I guess so. Whoa, man down. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> got your helmet on. Island spec wet, crusty snow. Where's your sticky tires now? Well, apparently our, uh, traps are not so good in the deep snow. Side hill action. Oh, it's a good thing somebody put all these nice logs in on this side. Without those logs along the side, that would be really hard. I like how your traps are boggering sideways. clear all the snow off for your uh, homeboys behind you. I thought I was supposed to be impressed with your tires. I know, I thought I was. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Yes, yes, that is the way. Oh well, well the trail's over here. You pulled over really nicely, but that's not what you needed to do. I don't know what to tell you, just do better. <laughs> I don't know if you get bonus points for your hat or you lose points for your hat, but. <laughs> exactly. The longer you stand here, the more I'm going to talk. Your tires are really good at throwing snow everywhere, not very good at driving up the hill. Well then. Oh, now I'm in the danger zone. It's really nice, he's making such a mess of his for you. I haven't even heard a bounce off the rev limiter yet. 
Team Irox are just gonna walk right up this. Pivot. Nice pivot. Yes. Ah. Sneak out of the danger zone. We're gonna see how Team Irock does this compared to Team Sticky Traps. Oh, he's just holding the line way better. Irox got that side hill action. Yeah, they were. That's where the traps do not shine on the side hill. Traps are just like fancy boggers. They are. They are. Oh, oh I got snow in my shirt on that one. Yeah, All right. So Liam has decided he's gonna get uh, Adam to go first because uh, I rocks are apparently snow tires and traps aren't. So let's see how she goes. Oh, you're doing great. There we go. I rocks our snow tires. Look at that. Mint. I just went to go have a sip of my trail soda, and that's your fault, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on down there? Nice boggers. <laughs> Fancy sticky boggers right there. So apparently we got to the top of the hill, and uh, we're losing daylight. It's 3 o'clock. So we've uh, turned back down, and we're heading back down what we just drove up. <laughs> There's a tree back there. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can't park there. You can't park there. <laughs> oh, apparently we're just going to turn that way, maybe. We're going to make it a right turn. Yeah, you think so? Uh, just a hard right. Don't even worry about what we're doing over here. You just got to do a little pirouette. And then you go back this way. Three rights, make a left. I think we're gonna be great. I don't even think we're gonna need a car nudge this time. Yes, yes, yes. Much better. No. Apparently we're gonna park in there though, because he didn't leave us room on the far side. You're right on some stump. Okay, now you're not. So you're saying don't do this. Well, apparently this puddle is 36 inches deep. I am not getting out. <laughs> Turbo sounds. Well, don't do that. Don't do as Adam does. That's a little more zesto. It's deeper than my boots. <laughs> oh, Ed found out that the puddle's at least 42 inches deep. I can hop out and I'm Ed went through the spot that we weren't supposed to go through. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. You're not supposed to go in there, it's really deep. We already had to winch once, and now we're gonna have to winch twice, but see, that's deeper than my boots. So I don't know who's going in there. 
but it's not me. I don't know what you did. Well, with the windshield, you're also committed to going forwards, which we're not sure if that's the best idea, but... Oh, look at that uh, passenger tire. I know. That's a 42. Yeah. It's not buried, but it's not not buried. I'm just hoping there's not a big bog or stump or something in there. Well, we're going to find out real soon here. It's a brand new six horsepower motor on that 8274, which the stalker, I think, is two horsepower. So those ones are way better. Oh, that's going to be fun to clean off. Just bury the diff. <laughs> We're fine. Nice. It's amazing how much harder this trail is going back down it than it was coming up. up it? Struggle is real. Afternoon struggles. All right. The sun's going down. Also, seven rigs entered. Three rigs left. Epic day out on the trail here. I've never been on this trail. I, uh, I'll have to come back down here when there's not snow. We can hit some of the harder lines. Good day, rock crawling with the boys. So I got like a two and a half hour trip home now. New Year's Eve wheeling, season 12, Pathfinder Productions. We'll see what we're getting up to next week, boys. My last video, I uh, asked all you guys to like, to subscribe, and to uh, leave a comment. And everybody who uh, leaves a comment will get uh, entered in a draw for a swag pack from Pathmaker Productions. Up till right now, there's 101 comments on that video. So thanks boys. Put 101 numbers in this hat here and uh, let's do a little drawski and find out which uh, number comment is gonna get himself a swag pack. So, comment number 56. Let's uh, go check out who scored themselves some free Pathmaker production swag. All right, we're looking for comment number 56. And Colby Cheese. Thanks, brother. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for following along. I'm uh, make a comment in here and uh, I'll try to see if I can message you on your page. And uh, we'll get your address out here and we'll send you a swag pack. Thanks everybody for uh, commenting on the video. We will definitely do this again in the future. But uh, for now, Colby Cheese, winner, winner. Thanks boys, cheers.